Hi, it's Jeff, and this is another episode of Deskies. I think I said that right this time. Uh, yep, how are you doing today? Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, something I have a passion for, and that is toy collecting. Um, I've been collecting toys basically since I was a kid, and by collecting toys I don't necessarily mean getting toys and playing with them, I mean like keeping them in the package, you know, realizing sometimes they have value, or they might have value with time. Now that's not to say as a kid I didn't play with a lot of toys, I, I did, but uh, there were toys that I would occasionally get with like allowances and stuff, and I would put up, most of them were worthless, but, uh, you know, I, I did that, and, uh, my parents were toy collectors, and, uh, my mom collected Barbies and stuff, she wasn't as much of a toy collector, my dad used to collect a lot of, uh, model cars, he'd have, like, the promos, die-cast cars, any, I mean, basically AMT, he'd have, Masa uh, different Masados, Ertl, Johan models. I mean, basically, if it was anything with wheels, my dad collected it. He worked at Ford, and uh, he was a big car guy. And uh, I grew up, and I, I, we would go to toy shows and stuff, and I kind of grew up in that environment around toy collectors. I, I tend to, you know, I, I, I have plenty of, you know, toy cars and stuff, but I tend to, like, skew a little more to like uh, pop culture things and uh, like action figures and stuff and uh, even to this day that's what I tend to collect more and uh, as far as like advice I give to people that uh, if they ever want to get into toy collecting it's first of all it's not it's kind of a rough you know field to get into it's not uh, it's not something I would necessarily recommend unless it's something you love. Now, if you like toys and you like collecting, it's fine to get into. And if you ever want to start selling, that's fine, too. Uh, I think those are usually your more successful, uh, you know, like sellers or resellers. But you have to have kind of a passion for it to know what to get. And I would say you always, no matter if you're, unless you have like a, a very unless you have very deep pockets, I would say buy what you love or buy at least what you like and don't mind splaying because toys are like any kind of investments they're hit or miss you know, one toy can end up skyrocketing in value and 30 other toys can end up decreasing in value and time doesn't necessarily make them worth anymore there's plenty of toys my parents bought like 20 years ago they really haven't gone up in value that much or if they have it's been very slim and it really hasn't been worth the, the time they stored it but if it's something you love then that's a little different story so as far as that it, initial advice I would say just like I said buy stuff you like worst, ca uh, worst case scenario you have a kind of a cool display piece and uh, best case scenario, it goes up in value. You're able to sell it and uh, make some money. Uh, but yeah, I mean, toys are like anything, and different cars and different action figures. Everything has a, you know, price where it skyrockets, and sometimes it's best to sell it right off the bat when it's popular. And I, I definitely would pay attention to fads. Like, uh, Star Wars, for instance, just came out, and I'm guessing, I, I mean, Star Wars merchandise is going to be more in demand. Uh, that being said, you also have to know the drawbacks. You're also going to have more uh, people that realize and want to capitalize on it, so you also have more competition. So sometimes you have to, you have to just be lucky sometimes, and, uh... It's something I've done, and uh, I don't necessarily mind. I, I like toys. I like... It's, it's... I don't know. It's kind of a history for me. It, 
it's neat. I like looking back. There's a sense of nostalgia. There's just, like I said, there's a sense of history, and I find it very interesting. But I also buy a lot of pieces to potentially sell, too. So, um, I just do what I, I do. I buy what I like, and pray to God it's, you know, maybe goes up a lot, and if it doesn't, I've got cool shelf pieces, so. Yep. That's gonna be, uh, this episode of Death Season. It's just basically my advice if you want to get into toy collecting. And to sum it up, basically, don't. Uh, unless you've already gotten into it. Or if you really want to, as I said, get what you like. This is, uh, going to be it. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for your support, and uh, thank you for your, if you have, for subscribing. Take care.